and that, there's a bakery and these are like yoga Pilates and like there's a zoom care here and lots of apartments and it's getting better because there's more places to do like more stuff to do and more places and like lots more apartments so that's the only thing and then parking is unbelievable crazy like you can't really park on the streets during the daytime and we usually go to some restaurants on division and we have to park on the street and we have to walk like two blocks because guess what um because the streets are so crowded and here's like a little like food cart restaurant and usually they have seating outside but like stuff like that is really neat in here and then this is unfold and it has um yoga in it right there and then like i like how they have a parking lot too so we don't have to park in the street i took some classes there and i think the orange building is apartments and then there's stores underneath while we sit but yeah he has been a very good boy and i'm very happy that we just keep on moving and he doesn't really slow down a lot besides sniffing um yeah but those are the apartments and um one of my favorite Thai restaurants is down this way and it connects to the busy street. But here's a little Thai restaurant. I haven't been there. It's in the um, white sign. So, yeah. I haven't been there, but that's another restaurant. This is a popular restaurant. And. Yeah, it's a really good neighborhood. And we can like walk through everything because everything is so close to us. So, yeah, that is what I'm doing this morning. And yeah, I hope you can see me. I'm kind of bad at like pointing the camera at me, but I'm just learning how to use my phone in the best way possible. Um, yeah. Wiley. Yeah. And here's like another coffee shop. Yeah, lots of places. I can tell you that. And I like how they do like dog dishes. So like if a dog's thirsty, they can drink water out of that. And I like how like when you're waiting for the bus, they have benches like these. Because some people don't want to stand 10, 15, 20 minutes for a bus. So, it's nice that they have bus stops with benches on, like right next to it. And, yeah, and then, yeah, I can see the apartments there too. But, yeah, and then like, there's another yoga place too. So, there's some competition around here, but it's friendly. Um, and they do like offers like these and yeah, they do a lot of stuff um, And just some like bars and fancy restaurants And like awesome um, Antique stores like these too That's not my kind of style, but it's nice to like shop with people that do I come here with my family or like when people come in from out of town we um, walk down the street so yeah um flying cat coffee company um there's a pet store right there and these are lots of things to look out for like bikes bike shop is here and pizza is right there and space available so yeah 
so things may be open and people may rent and a cat shop right there cat and dog shop um, and then this is my favorite place to go Koi Fusion and D Street Village or something yeah yeah so this is like one of my favorite restaurants to go to it has Korean food and I like it a lot and this is a um, Indian restaurant it's very good but I don't eat it I just know reviews from newspapers and um, I there's a line that goes like up to here and that doors like right there so yeah and I'll just walk with you a couple more blocks and then I'm gonna take Wally back home and then I'm going to work today so I have to be home really soon but yeah welcome to Division Street it's this is kind of like what I did in Arizona um, and I like doing these videos too um, this is Russell no not Russell um, Russell Street barbecue was my favorite but this is what's on this street is Clay's barbecue um, I was thinking of Russell because I go to school right next to a barbecue place so and we go there often but yeah this is Clay Smokehouse and that's on Division Street too. Um, it's good. I had that sometimes. I, I remember going there when I was little. But I still like Russell's barbecue. It's so good. And they give you a different kind of red bone too. So it's barbecue, but it's just different. And you know you see that sign because there's schools around. So we live next to school. And yeah, we have to be aware of this all the time because we live in the city and the schools are around. And yeah, this block that we're coming up to is the food cart so I was talking about. Um, they have anything from hot dogs, pizza, Korean, Japanese, soups, um, like a sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free bakery and they make all their stuff by scratch um yeah there's like a whole bunch of stuff you can choose from um like teriyaki oh a waffle window so like it's like waffle and you build your sandwich there but this is what it looks like yeah so this is like one food cart and the menu's right there. And yeah, this is what it looks like. There's outside seating. And yeah, it's just the food carts are around. And in that bus is actually a shop. It's um a shop. But yeah. And I'll just walk around here, I guess. Creative things with like pine cones. And yeah, I'll take you closer here. It's actually a shop. It's kind of funny. It's a double decker bus. Um, there's a crow. Crows love to stay here because food gets dropped. And they're lucky sometimes. And this is like a fire pit. So during the winter or summertime, people may be sitting here and they light a fire. And they have um, a tent under this benches. So, yeah. And this is like a hot dog place. So, yeah, this is what the food carts look like. And another Thai place, too. And then most people bike here or like they tie up the dogs right there. So, yeah. And then that building right there, the brick building, is the middle school I was, was talking about. We live two blocks away from there. But anyways, thank you for watching if you are watching right now. Because it's really early in the morning, but I don't know when I'm going to post this. But, yeah.
now it's getting really light out. When I came to get Wiley at his house, it was like pitch dark. You couldn't see anything. And now I can see the streets and I'm actually standing in the middle of the street because no cars are coming. Um, but yeah. Yeah. It's around 45 degrees out. It's the right temperature. I'm just wearing my, um, I'm wearing a t-shirt, a jacket, a winter jacket, and I'm just wearing my Crocs and my yoga long pants because it's not that cold out. But we are approaching the school and I didn't go to this middle school, but most of my friends did. Um, but this is what it looks like. And this is used for like a dog park. So during the evenings or afternoons, or the summertime, they turn this into a dog park. They don't really turn it in, they just have dogs that come here and it's known as a dog park. And this is the side of the building. And like the restaurant I was talking about where we need parking, this is where we usually park. We park like down this street or like around here because the streets are packed. So that's where we park and it's gated and there's like kickball fields and baseball fields and yeah. Yep. And yeah, this is known as a dog park because they have dog signs too. And no cars are allowed here, so they put this little fence up. And that's good because who needs to be driving down here unless it's a PPS district bus or like um, something for the school that they may need. Yeah, this is the school. It's Hosford Middle School. Again, most of my friends went here that I went with elementary school and then I went to a different middle school and then during high school, most of my friends from here and a couple from other high schools and some from my high school came to um, the same high school that we all did. So yeah, and there's lots of bike racks And, yeah, people bike here and walk here and take buses. But anyways, that is it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Wiley. Wiley. <laughs> That's a good look up at me.